Question 3 is on reflections. Here we have been given a figure and we have to reflect it along whatever line they mention. Now the first one, x, y is equal to x, what does that mean? y equals x means x is equal to y. It's both the way around. Now if you want to know which line is that, now what this means is if x is 1, y is 1, this is the point. If x is 2, y also must be 2, they must be equal. So this will be the line, it's a 45 degree line like this. Because they must be equal even over here, if x is minus 1, y will be minus 1 and so on. That will be the line. Now if I tell you, okay, from here to here, it might be confusing. Whenever you see this line, x is equal to y is equal to x or x is equal to y, it's very easy. Just find the coordinates of the points. What is this b coordinate? x is 0. What is y? 1. What is about a? 1, 2, 3, minus 3 and 2. And lastly over here, 1, 2, minus 2, comma, 1, 2, 3, 3, yeah, minus 3. So these are the coordinates, right? A, B, C. So A prime, the reflected point, or A dash will be, swap them, 2, comma, minus 3, that's it. For reflecting along X, Y, you just swap these up, 2, comma, uh, minus 3. And what is B prime? It will be 1, comma, 0, and C prime will be, Minus 3, comma, minus 2. Now, if you're going to plot them up, you get the answer. Now, A prime. What is A prime over here? Where is A prime? A prime is A is over here. A prime will be X is 2. 1, 2, minus 3. 1, 2, 3. This will be the point of A prime. And then B prime will be 1, 0. This is the point. And lastly, minus 3 will be 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, somewhere over here. So, that will be the reflected triangle. Okay, it's a bit... Uh, you know, not so clear, but you'll see the answers now. Look over here. I mean, it's okay, not very accurate. You can see it's not accurate enough to the points, but look at the uh, coordinates. B prime was 1, 0, yes, minus 3, minus 2, and so on. So this is the conversion. I hope you remember so much. You don't need to write anything. Just figure out which is the one. So what I would suggest to you is in the exam, when you see the question, and you will have four graphs like this as the answers, right? Take one point, easy point, see this one. It is 0 and 1. Now check for all the graphs which is having 1 and 0 as your answer for B prime. So like that you can eliminate many graphs and once eliminated check for one more point and easily you can get the answer. Or you can do all the three points and check it out. Now what about this one here? This is a trapezoid and it is reflected along which line? X equals negative 1. Now here you need to be careful. What is minus 1 over here, right? So imagine this is the mirror line. Now over here you need to mirror it out in the sense you're reflecting this entirely over here. You can do the coordinates x and y, the coordinate changes. You need to involve this and then you can get the coordinates and graph but that is very tricky and lengthier. Since it's MCQ part, I'll tell you a shortcut. Look at this line as the mirror. Now what is the point of E from year to year? 2, right? This will be reflected left side by 2. 1, 2, that is it. What about F? 1, 2, 3, 4. So, 1, 2, 3, 4. This is the point. What about this? It's just 1. It will be over here. And lastly, G is from here. It's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, somewhere over here. That will be the answer. Look for the graphs having that as the answer. So, this is it. Can you see the distance over here? Because it's x as minus 1, this is the line which you need to focus on. x equals minus 1, whatever they have given. And now see the distance over here and over here is same. To this point, to this point, it's same, even the same thing with this and this, and lastly this and this. That's how we easily solve it up. Let's look into more problems. Now this is again x is equal to y is equal to x. Just convert the coordinates. This is simple. We have done it. See, r coordinate is minus 2, 3 r prime becomes 3 comma minus 2. You can draw a line and you know change it up. Look if you draw a line of 45 degree over here you can see this distance towards this line now. It's always towards this line isn't it? What is the distance? See this and this will be same. If you draw it a straight line you will realize it. Now we will try y equals minus 2. Now what? Where is y minus 2? This is the line isn't it? 
Now this is 2, so over here will be the answer. Now it's not proper to graph over here. Let's look into the answers. Directly look into the four options and you can find the correct answer. This is y equals minus 2. 2, two units, 2 units. Over here it's 3, 3. From year to year, whatever is the units, the same units down and over here same till this line only, it'll be the same units. That is how we reflect, uh, you know, the coordinate plane. Now here they have asked you coordinates. Determine the coordinate S is equal to minus 7 comma 1 after the reflection of line, after reflecting in the line Y equals 3. So what I would suggest is just draw this point. S is minus 7 somewhere over here comma 1. Okay. Sorry, that is minus 7 only. X is minus 7. 1 is over here. So it's somewhere over here. This is the point. What is the line? Y is 3, right? Sorry, positive 3. It will be up over here. This is minus 3. This is positive 3. Count the distance from year to year. How much is the distance? X value does not change. As long as it's in Y axis, that means it's only going to go up. X value will remain same. No matter what, S prime, X value will be same, minus 7 itself. But what happens is it will jump where? To 5. Why? It's 2 units. 2 units towards the reflecting point, right? From 1 to 3, how much is it? 2 units. So you need to change again 2 units. It'll be 5. So it'll be minus 7 and 5. That will be the answer. Why? Just plot the given point. It's minus 7, 1. The reflection line is y is equal to 3. This is the horizontal line. See the distance to the reflection line. It's 2 units. So it'll go 2 units to the other side. That'll be minus 7 and 5. Over here, the answer is there. And now similarly, they have given an X point. Same way, just try to graph a rough sketch. 6 is somewhere over here and minus 4 will be over here. 6 comma minus 4. Now what line do we reflect it along? Positive 2. This is 6, very far away. This is 2, okay? Now what is the distance from, okay, the point is, it's not accurately to the scale, just for understanding now. What is the distance from 2 to 6? It is 4. Now, it will only be along x-axis that will change because it's vertical line, right? Minus 4 will remain the same. Now, it is 4 units over here. So, go 4 units to the other side. It will be at minus 2. So, the point will be at minus 2, comma 4. How do we know that? Minus 2, comma minus 4. Because here, this is the given point. It's vertical line. So you need to plot it only then you'll understand from the reflection line that is 2, right? To the point it is 4 units along the x-axis. X-axis 4 units. So here we need to go the other way around. Now this side, now opposite side. So what happens? Opposite is left side. So it's minus 4 here. From 2, sorry, not from here. From 2 it is minus 4. Why? Because the difference from 2 to 6 is... 4 now from 2 we have to go 4 units back side it will be minus 2 comma minus 4 now if i tell you when coordinates it's going to be very very complicated so it's best in figures i'll draw a proper scale uh, figure now again just to understand this is x of 0 okay 1 2 3 4 5 6 this is minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 and we have uh, coordinates of minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4. Where is this point, given point? 6 and minus 4, it's somewhere over here. Now, where is the reflection line? It is at 2. What is the distance from the reflection line to the point? It is 4 units. So, we have to go 4 units to the other side. That's it. Where is the point now uh, located? It will be at minus 2, comma, minus 4. That's the answer. That is how we get these points. You can see it's minus 4, minus 2. It's better to do the figure and understand if I just write in words or tell you formulas, you will definitely tend to forget in the exam because it's very confusing. Even I do the figure and just analyze it, then it's easier. And that's the end of the question 3. I hope it is clear. If you just get coordinate points, better draw a rough sketch of the graph and then solve it. If they give you coordinate planes, it's much easier. Just look at what line you ought to reflect and then check the correct answer.